Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. Um, I know I did, I spent time uh, just relaxing and and uh, actually was working on a flip as well, but got to spend time with my wife and hang out with some friends. And um, you know, it was definitely uh, enjoyable, definitely mixed some, some real estate work in as well, but um, it was just a great time to uh, take a breath of, of fresh air and, and relax. And you know, now it's we're starting the second half of the year. Um, so getting ready to go out and, and crush um, the second half of 2022. But uh, jumped back on Clubhouse this morning. Um, it's always a slow morning, you know, after a holiday weekend, uh, especially with realtors and people in the real estate space. But one of the things that came up was a challenge that happened with one of the agents. And it was post possession, or sorry, post closing possession and a seller leaving behind a ton of of just personal items um i mean uh dumpster full of personal items and you know is there an opportunity in something like that that as a real estate professional you can provide your clients as a value proposition meaning you know one of the ways that you can get clients is by differentiating yourself from the competition and showing you know, why you're different and providing extra value, right, um, to your client, you know, when they decide to work with you. Uh, and this is just an example. And I don't think this is an extreme, right? The, the situation that happened isn't something that, you know, anyone can really prepare for. Well, both real estate agents or, you know, the buyer, um, you know, especially if you're doing a final walkthrough and they still, you know, two days before closing, and they still leave a ton of stuff. Uh, it's just an unfortunate situation, but you know, is there an opportunity to where you as the agent on the buy side, let's just say you're representing a buyer. Hey, uh, could you offer, hey, prior to you moving in, if, you, if you're a client of ours, you know, we're gonna cover to have a cleaning service come in and do a deep clean of the house. Or, hey, we're gonna have a carpet cleaning company come in and make sure all the carpets are cleaned. Um, let's just say you're selling the house. Hey, one of the things that we're gonna do for you as a client of ours, as a seller, is we're gonna rent a dumpster for you um, a week before closing and you know give you the opportunity to throw everything out um, that you don't want. Um, or hey, when you move out, you know we're gonna pay for someone to, to do a cleaning service for, for you, so that's something that you don't have to worry about, make sure everything's um, spotless upon uh, you handing over keys and, and possession to your home. So I was just thinking of those and, you know, are there opportunities to where um, that would make sense that you could provide that value to your clients um, and, and really just give them a peace of mind? Like, like on the seller side, the majority of times we're throwing things away, they're going to set them at the curb, whatever. You know, could we spend two to $300 for a dumpster and just have it placed in the driveway and have them just throw stuff out there? Um, I think that's an opportunity for us to differentiate ourselves from from the competition and just some food for thought for you guys. Um, you know, just wanted to kind of get your opinions on that. I don't know if you're doing that. If you are, I would love to hear from you in the comments. You know, some of the ways that you're, uh, you know, taking control of this situation with the client. Uh, sorry, with the uh, the sale, whether it's on the listing side or on the buy side to uh, bring that extra value to your clients.